Elizabeth Warren con lying about sexual harassment. Senator Elizabeth Warren has another tall tale to add to her story of being part Cherokee Indian. A recent story she told on national television while trying to be part of the hash me too movement of women who experienced sexual harassment turns out to be just as fishy as her alleged Indian ancestry. Turns out, she told that same story before, and it wasn't as dastardly as she now makes it seem. In the wake of the allegations from numerous women about how now disgraced mega movie producer Harvey Weinstein sexually harassed them, the hash me too movement quickly gained traction, opening a social media space for women to talk about their private experiences of sexual harassment or abuse. At the Conservative Tribune, site director Josh Manning caught some flack for pointing out that the hash me too movement was liable to bring out some red herrings. Women whose stories were not truly indicative of what many have suffered in the workplace, or in daily life sexual harassment and abuse. As Manning wrote on his Facebook page, someone needs to ask, how many of the hash me too statuses come from women not legitimately harassed? And. Cue the hate. Turns out, we apparently have at least one. Elizabeth Warren. Warren appeared on Meet the Press on Sunday and told a story about an incident at the University of Houston early in her academic career, saying, Yes, I have a me, too story too. I was a baby law professor and so excited to have my first real teaching job. And there was this senior faculty member who, you know, would tell dirty jokes and make comments about my appearance. And one day he asked me if I would stop by his office which I didn't think much about. And I did. And he slammed the door and lunged for me. It was like a bad cartoon. He's chasing me around the desk, trying to get his hands on me, she said. Warren continued with the sordid tail adding, and I kept saying, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. I have little children at home. Please don't do this. And trying to talk calmly. And at the same time, what was flickering through my brain is, if he gets hold of me, I'm going to punch him right in the face. After several rounds, I jumped for the door and got out. And I went back to my office and I just sat and shook. And thought, what had I done to bring this on? And I told my best friend about it. Never said a word to anyone else. But for a long time, I wore a lot of brown. Then she homed in on her central argument. Inclusion saying, what it means now that so many people have spoken out, is it's a way to say, we are here for each other. And it's also a way to say, no. It's not about what you did. He's the one who stepped out of line. And this is on him. Well, the Boston Globe noticed that Warren had told this story at least once before. During the funeral of that terrible senior faculty member. However, when she told it then. It was much more light-hearted. As the Globe noted, when Senator Elizabeth Warren on Sunday told a national television audience a personal story of sexual harassment from her days as a young law professor, she described a harrowing incident that left her shaken. She said that she wondered if she'd done something to deserve it and that she told no one but a close friend. But the tone of her telling, recounted on NBC's Meet the Press, appears to be inconsistent with a reportedly more light-hearted manner in which she described the same incident two decades after it occurred, during the memorial service for the senior University of Houston faculty member she accused of pursuing her around his office. During the service after his death in 1997, Warren spoke fondly of law professor Eugene Smith and told the gathered mourner she was laughing as Smith chased her around his desk, according to a colleague's memoir. The writer of the memoir, however, now says he might have treated the incident too lightly. Maybe so, but either way, one version of the story is clearly not true. And to make the latest iteration even less plausible, the Globe noted that Warren failed to mention on Meet the Press that Smith had polio. So this sex-crazed faculty member, who'd had many falls in his life due to polio, according to his obituary on findagrave.com, chased a panicked Warren around his desk. Yes, cue the hate indeed. Cue the hate for the idea that someone could try to take something that was sparked out of solidarity for women who had actually been abused and turn it into just another stepping stone for her inclusion into something that was clearly not about her. 
Considering Warren is a widely talked about candidate for the Democrat presidential nomination in 2020, the whole affair seems a little too suspect. She should be ashamed for trying to take away from the true experiences of women who really were harassed and abused. Just another liberal trying to jump on the bandwagon. Share this story on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to add your thoughts on Elizabeth Warren being caught in the hash me to lie to the comment section below. And below.